Hello, it's Sarah. And hopefully this will work. I, I just deleted the last video. I don't know what happened. It, there was a problem with the audio. Um, and someone also said my links aren't working. So I don't know what that means. Um, I will try posting this one. Hopefully it will all just work out. Uh, but <coughs> basically what I was just saying was this year is going to be me uh, taking some classes, figuring out where my art wants to go. And I feel like it is coming back more toward the painting um, and the polymer clay. I definitely have um, some projects I want to work on with the polymer clay. I'm just in mixed media mode right now, so that you know how that is. Um, but yeah, I've um, decided to take some classes online. Uh, I used to take classes for years. I went to seminars and conventions where I would go to a whole other city and stay in a hotel and go to the convention center for a weekend. And they had classes throughout the weekend. Um, there was all sh there was shopping. It was fantastic. It's wonderful. But online classes are amazing too. Um, I just have this here in front of me. This is just the I posted this on my Facebook page. It's on watercolor paper. I just felt like doing a castle. I wanted to do a castle, of course, inspired by my seeing someone else's castles and um, just gave it a shot. Uh, I think I did this with my um, Tombow markers. Um, so I'm still, that's another thing I want to do is watercolor. I know nothing about watercolor besides the little easy type of techniques that you can do with the pens, like the distress markers and stuff like that. But when it comes to real watercolors, and I have a few, I have some, I have this little pack here. This is just a, a simple, um, cheap one, but it works and the colors are really vibrant and stuff. I just ordered these, the Neo Color 2s, the water soluble crayons or wax pastels. So I'm really looking forward to trying these because, and I got these on Amazon, they were, um, I think, I'm pretty sure Jody Ohl uses these in a class. Um, I know CC uses these for CC's Creations. There's a couple different, um, I need to watch Lindsay's classes better, but Lindsay is, uh, <clears throat> Sometimes her classes are too advanced for me. I need to start at the beginning. We'll see. Um, anywho, uh, so that being said, I've been doing things. I just haven't been posting. I'm doing Cat Hands Mixed Media Morsels. So I have my little book here of those techniques that we're doing. Uh, just not going to film them, you know, because there's a lot she's filming them and there's a lot of other people that are filming them um i just didn't do the inchies one but um uh, i love inchies but i'm just going to do the um background techniques for now i play in here from time to time i yesterday or no not yesterday the other day <clears throat> i wanted to do to revisit some of the techniques i learned um, within Kate Crane's uh, journal soup class that I took, and that's on Vimeo. I think I ordered it in her Etsy store, and she's an English artist. I love her teaching style. It's so cool, and I learned a lot, but I wanted to just come back and do a couple, um, a page, of ba just a background. Um, I redid, oh, this page I did very similarly, the Kate Crane style, but it was with red, yellow, and blue, and it was so loud. It was so loud, and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta calm it down. So this is another technique that I've seen people do, um, where they do a background, and then they cover it with white paint. So you draw a little something, a little doodle, maybe a flower or whatever. So I just wrote play, that's my thing, and made some doodles around it, and then you cover up some of the background with white paint that's what I did anyway and just I just outlined everything so I was just playing I play and then I don't I'm not sharing it because it's not like um, I don't know I'm kind of fumbling about and just doing what I feel like doing and then I, I just went over this uh, there was a page in here that I had done modeling paste 
and it was so dark and um, I went over it with gesso and then I used twinkling H2O's on it and that didn't work and then I rubbed some um, Inca Golds on it and it, it still isn't anything it's just what it is but um so I'm doing the online class this year with Joanne Sharp and this is my journal for that we're into February um, I'm liking it it's you know it's okay uh, it's lettering it's fun for a couple days a month I do some of that um, so that's good so I'm doing that and I'm not filming it because I can't film a class I can't reteach you a class that I'm taking online that's just not gonna happen um, not gonna do it and this last class that I'm going to talk about specifically talks about that. You do not reteach a class that I just took. Um, that's just not cool. So I'm not going to be doing that. Now, I will, once I establish my own style and have something to offer in my own way, I will do a tutorial. But for now, I'm um, going to learn a little something first and kind of maybe start bringing in a bunch of different things to my uh, to my work so lately or le this week as a matter of fact I took a class on creative workshops and it's the who are you by Jodi Ole um, she offers quite a few I think there's like six or seven maybe not seven five or six I would say classes it's creative workshops let me go where do I want to go? Uh, this is it. Creative Workshops. Um, dot me. I don't know why, but there are a lot of different artists on here. So if I go to Jody Ole, she has. Well, it lists her blog. It lists her Twitter. It lists everything. So if you have an artist that you're specifically liking, all right. She has one, two, three four five six seven eight nine nine classes and I took this one who are you and that was fifty five dollars um, everyone right now I think some of them are older because then when I go through my um, when I google her or something and I come up with a picture that I like which brings me to the next the class I'm about to sign up for I'm about to sign up for this class um, this actually so this is a picture that catches my eye right well it turns out it's Diane Salter the woman that did the cat my little cat um I guess it's a collage with the with the jelly prints she took the class and this was in 2012 so this is one of Jody's classes that she taught back in 2012 and it is available um but not at that here it is funky little cityscapes by Jody Ole and it is available on another site it's called Art Village color art I'll put the links to these sites in the um, description box so in case you guys want to go check it out but I am gonna now this class is a it's 80 bucks yeah it's 80 bucks um supplies needed so i think this is why i got the um neo color twos the water soluble crayons but I, you know i love houses i've always been attracted to houses i did my little wooden houses i've done you know i just like houses in general so this is just going to be so fun um and uh so i think i'm going to sign up for that this weekend and then I wanted to tell you about one other thing. There's another um, thing going on this year. It's called Wanderlust 2016. Hopefully I have that on here. Uh, if I go to Kate Crane's, why don't I see that here? I don't see it. It's a bunch of, I'll just... I'll Google it. You know what I'll Google? Kate Crane. Kate 
because she is uh, she'll have a link to it in her on her blog the Catherine wheel <clears throat> and this is more like um, what I did last year which was a uh, polymer clay adventure and that's a hundred bucks for the whole year and you get I think it was 24 classes let's say um, so here it is yeah 24 teachers right so let's see the teachers on here and there are some pretty big names on here well Kate is wonderful I would recommend her she's an awesome teacher and it gives you a little idea of their art below it Teresa McFadden um, Rachel Grieg Becca Kruhula that's more than tangly Joanne Sharp is doing it Flora Bowley Mistel and this is Andy Skinner now I think he works for um, he's a mixed media artist gothic assemblage um, but people I think he works for deco art I think he does a lot of stuff for them. Finnevar, Anna Dabrowski, she, everybody loves her. She's been around a while. Birgit Koopson and Lindsay, the frugal crafter, she's teaching it at um, Wonderlust. Magda Palakow, oh, Carolyn Doobie, she's on um, YouTube. So a lot of good names, and I think I probably will end up taking this. It's February already. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. See? Oh look, she's on YouTube. Robin Marie Smith. I think she, I forget her YouTube page name. Um, Rachel Eurista. Susie LaFond. Joanna Grant. I did um, my jelly print journal, which I don't have handy. But I made a jelly print journal. She's on YouTube. She does some cool stuff. So anyway, um, Wonderlust. So I'll put the links for that stuff in the description box. And <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing. Um, I want to uh, share with you guys, but the thing is, it's a very tricky thing when it comes to these copyrights and taking classes. So I may just share like I'm about to share my afters so this is a piece I did four canvases for this class this is uh, Jody Ohl's who are you and the only thing I didn't do was the um, I didn't put a sentiment on here and I just I don't know I you know guys know I'm not thrilled with my writing first of all um, and she Jody, this is a um, intuitive painting she calls it where it's not exact and I sketched everything on here I put it where I wanted to put it it's she just gives you the guidelines of what to do and then you pretty much do it in your own way um, I did a little bit of floating just a little I added white back in where I thought it was too dark so I would float you know just a little bit I really tried to keep it um, basically uh, Jody style I wanted to really feel it out and she has you bring the design around the side of the canvas which was cool so I loved it and then these I think these two are my faves this one with the big tree and the little owl I changed up my owls a little bit like each one I tried to do a little bit differently um, and just a little bit of doodling um, did I do any uh, I think that's it. That's basically it. I signed them, but I didn't use, like, Jody's very uh, good with, like, using her life experience to, to and bringing it to her art. So she'll have a feeling when she's making this painting, and that's what she goes with, kind of, if it's love, if it's whatever, if it's keep going, if it's she needs a boost. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And, um... I just love them. They're adorable, and I love the softness. Now, these are way darker than hers, don't get me wrong. Obviously, I'm such a heavy hand, and everything I do, it, it usually comes out quite a bit dark, but I really tried to keep it light. 
Um, oh, we did drippage. Where's my one with the good drippage? This was a good one with drippage because there's some things that I definitely did that were out of my comfort zone. I don't usually do drippage, and we did a lot of spatter on here. So it was so fun. Um, I would recommend it. Absolutely. Um, she, the one thing, the one downside was she didn't really show how she painted her main characters. So, and she didn't really explain it. And you know me, I like to know, I like to get in there. You can tell me and I'll forget. But if you show me, I'll remember and I'll be able to do it. So I just, I kind of use, oh, she uses glazing medium. That was the other new thing for me. Um, Cause I've always just used water with acrylic paints, but this was really cool. And we made a paint swatch and stuff to see how everything works together. So it was so cool. I really enjoyed it. And he's, he's my least favorite. I don't know why he just has a strange look on his face, <laughs> but so much fun. Um, like I said, she's a great teacher and I'm going to take the cityscapes. It's $80. Hubby said, go ahead. And when you think about it, Back when I was first taking classes, I used to go to convention, and I was spending more than $80, that's for sure. And I always came home with uh, a lot of shopping, too, that you did. So, um, yeah, it, it was great. And she, she ta talks about composition some and color palette. Like, you get a lot of good information. So, like I said, I would really recommend it. This is the one that's on um, Creative Workshops, and I'll put the links in the description box. Um, but, yeah, everything's great. Other than that, uh, nothing really new or exciting. Well, we got a car. We did get a new car. Just traded in one. It's not new, but it's new to us, and uh, that was exciting. And, yeah, but really, everything's great. I did get Joe's cold, but it didn't last very long. It wasn't, like, a big deal. And, um, yeah, that's about it. February already. Yay. I'm very excited because uh, spring is around the corner, sort of, kind of. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm looking forward. And I think that's what I can do is as I learn more about different, um, like, watercolor and stuff like that, I'll come back and do a project and share what I learn um, based on these classes, but I can't, I can't reteach you. I can't just like say, okay, get a canvas. We're going to make this owl project. I can't do that. That's just not cool. Um, and I get that. Like, that's the thing about YouTube. Um, a lot of people like Carolyn Do Doobie and Lindsay, um, the Frugal Crafter, there's a lot of people that definitely uh, share their art on YouTube for free and you guys you know should take advantage of that and that I I you know I'm all for that that's for sure but some artists really need to make a living at this so I don't want to take anything away um, from that I love to share with you guys absolutely and um, and we'll continue to do so but when I get my own thing that I'm not taking away from anyone else and I'll keep pushing these classes because I love taking classes. It's so fun. Um, you got to try it if you haven't. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of money. Like, uh, Jody Ole has a YouTube channel, but it's basically just little snippets of her classes. They're kind of like promos for her classes or if she's on the road or something like that. There's really not a lot of um, real content. Um, from A to Z type stuff. Um, a couple people are like that. Um, I find that when I like someone, definitely Google them. Google them and you'll find out where they teach or where they are. Like um, Jody is in North Carolina, I believe, and she does do some traveling teaching. Um, Diane Salter is all the way up north, North New York really far up it's like seven hours away from here and she does teach but I, I'm not going to drive that far to go um, and as I, far as I know right now she doesn't have any um, online classes so that's the thing about this new age this new era of um, the internet you know um, so excited about that we can share um, our art and uh, have a crafty community to share it with, with, uh, with you guys out there. So thank you all so much for your kind words and wondering where I was. I'm just fine. I'm just, you know, 
doing my thing. So those of you who haven't tried Cat Hands uh, Mixed Medium Morsels, she's just giving you a little taste of a different technique kind of every couple of weeks or so. Um, there's that and um, I mean I don't participate in a lot of challenges and things like that. Um, trying to downsize in a way too. Um, I have a lot of supplies that I'm not going to use so maybe there'll be some de-stashing in my future. Probably won't see a lot of hauls from me anymore. Um, if I do end up getting a product like this uh, I'll share it, maybe do reviews and things like that. But um, trying to really keep it simple as far as the art goes and um, that's it. Alright, so I'll put all those links in the description box and hopefully I'll post this and there won't be an issue. I'm just going to download it and leave because I play solitaire. Sometimes when things are downloading I'll play solitaire or I'll like surf the web while it's downloading and I shouldn't do that. i um, just going to let it be and um, I just want to share this one too. This was so cute. The little baby looking up at the mommy. I love the colors. But yeah, so um, hopefully there'll be no, nothing. Just let me know though, you guys. I really appreciate it. All right, thanks for watching.